Hey there, I'm your host Lassawi, and in the last video, I showed you how to create an NPC helper. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a line trace and we'll be interacting with the NPC health. So if I hit him, we can see that he takes a little bit of damage, and of course, you can adjust how much damage he takes, and it's pretty much going to look like this. So, uh, with all that said, let's begin. Let's open up our project and go to the content drawer. Over here, I want to go to my NPC folder where I last created the health bar for my AI. So I'll be using the dummy and over here, we want to do right click and look for event any damage. From here, what I want to do, I want to get my health and we can do health minus or subtract the damage. Right, just like so. And I'm just going to make it look a little better. Then from here, what you want to do, get a clamp. So our maximum value is going to be, of course, our max. So I'll just set this to 100. And then, of course, our minimum is going to be zero. So from here, I want to set my health, right? Then we connect it up here, just like so. And that health reference we created in the previous episode, I'm going to get this. So it's right there. Get that and do set health. Now we can connect this into here. And now we can do a check. So let's get our health once again. If our health is equal to zero, right? That's why we need the clamp. So we don't have to use uh, greater or equal to zero. And from here, what I want to do. So if this is zero, get a branch. And then I'm going to do a depth. So I can simply do a few animations. But for the purpose of the tutorial, I'll just do destroy actor. And that will destroy my NPC. And let's say we didn't uh, destroy him yet. We can do a print string. This is just for testing. And we can say something like enemy hit. That's uh, fine. So now, of course, this is going to work very good for us. Let's compile and save. And from this point onward, we just want to create that line trace for our NPC so we, he can take damage. Back inside of our content drawer, let's go to our weapons. And I previously created an episode where I showed you how to attach the weapon to the player's hand. So if you don't know how to do that, I'll link it down below. And once you have it done, let's go to the skeleton mesh or our skeleton of our weapon. And inside here, what you want to do, you want to essentially create two new sockets from point A to point B. And between uh, those two points will be where the line is drawn. So on sword, right click and add socket. And you can call this something like A, very simple. And then we can right click again, add socket, add socket and call this something like B. But that's perfectly fine. Then for A, uh, let's just adjust it to go from here. And for B, um, let's go to the very end of our sword. So about there, I think is looking good. Then from here, uh, simply just save and exit. That's all you have to do. Then um, let's create a... Actually, let's go first to our player. So I'm using Brady. And inside of your player character, you want to create a few events. So let's right click, create a custom event. And this will be like our begin line event. So just have something similar. And over here, what I'm going to do, I will drag and say set timer by event. Then uh, from here, we can promote this to a variable. Call it something like uh, begin event. That's fine. And we want this to be looping. And for the time, I think it best works with 0.01, .01, but of course you can experiment with this. It'll also depend on the animation speed. So that's fine there. Then drag out from the event, add event, add custom event, and this will be my line trace. So I'll just call it that. And from here, what we want to do, we want to do this and say line trace by channel. Then um, we created the points A and B on our sword. So I already have the sword attached, so I can simply just get it. And from here, I will do get socket location. And let's duplicate this. And what we're doing, uh, we're going simply from A to B. So over here, type in your A, type in B here. And this value will go into the start and this value will go to the end. Then um, out of the out hit, we want to search for a break. 
So get the break hit result, then click the down arrow. Over here, select hit actor, and this will be where we apply the damage. So search for apply damage. Uh, we can close this now, then connect this into there. And over here, we can create a variable for our damage, or you can simply just uh, insert the value. I'll do something like 20, so like I had at the very beginning. And for the damage class, we want to do damage type. And one last thing, let's create a custom event. And this will be my end line. So get that into there and simply do clear and invalidate timer by handle. Then for the handle, just get your begin event and put it there. So that's looking all good. We can compile and save. Now um, I'll go into my weapons folder and over here, or you can add this in, into any folder actually. Just what you want to do, right click, go to blueprint classes and search for something called um, notify state and get the anim notify state, select that, and I'll call this something like line notify. Very short and simple. Let's go inside and you see the functions tab. You want to override the begin and you also want to override the end. So on begin, you will be casting to your player. So get, let's get the mesh component, get owner, and from here, you want to cast your player character. So for me, it's going to be Brady because that's what I have. Just like so, um, connect that into there and out of as BP Brady, you just want to get the begin line event. And same for the end, it's just going to be get end line. So let's go here. We can actually make our life easier if we just copy this. So let's go back, copy those two, uh, go into the end and connect this into here that will be just fine and then as bp brady get end line uh what if i type in this yeah that works okay so connect that into there compile and save and now let's go to our animations so i already have animation montages created but if you don't i'll show you how to do it so over here, I am in my animations folder, and as you can see, I have my montages ready. But let's say you don't have a montage, all you want to do, right click on your animation, go to create and create an montage. Once that is done, let's go inside of our montages, and over here, we will add our line trace. So, for example, get the point where you want the line trace to begin. So he's hitting, uh, he's about to hit from this point, kind of, I see. So go to the Notifies tab over here, right click, add Notify State, and we will add the line Notify. So then we can just uh, stretch this out and we can see where we want the line and line trace to end. So about there, I think is pretty good. And essentially what you want to do, create this for all of your animation montages. So once you're done with all of the animation montages, I actually reminded myself of one more thing. Let's go back inside of the player. And I just want to explain something to you very quickly. So over here in, a, in our line trace, we have something called visibility and none. So for visibility, you want to select camera. And then for line trace, if you don't want to see the line, you can leave it as for none. But let's say we want to see it um, just to uh, for debugging purposes. Let's select this to be for duration. Then once you've done this, uh, compile and save. And if we add, or we actually have our NPC there. So if I go to play, we will see our line trace. So if I hit him, you can see, okay, he's dead. Um, I'll show you why that is. Um, but we can see our line trace like so. So uh, let's say you don't want to see the line trace. You just simply, instead of for duration, you say none. And the reason our NPC died so fast is because I didn't add a delay. So I'll show you how this works. So let's go to the NPC and dummy. So over here right now, our NPC is taking damage for every single line. So let's say you don't, you don't want that. Uh, just simply get a play. So the left mouse button. And I find a value of 0.2 to work very well. Um, that's completely perfect. So if we compile and save. Now uh, you won't see the line trace because I hit it. 
but you will see that our NPC takes the damage uh, as he's supposed to. So there you go, that's one hit. And we even get a message in the top left corner, enemy hit. So that's working perfectly for us. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.